Well, my partner and I just found out his son has Asperger's, so I kind of wrote a letter to him. It was kind of on my mind um, because every as anybody knows who has a partner or a sibling or somebody who has autism, it's now lo- known as autism level one. Um, it's hard. Um, they have they miss social cues. They um, hit themselves in the chest to self-soothe. Um, there's various things that he does, and he is awesome. We did luck out. He eats everything. It's wonderful. When a kid begs for borscht, you know you love them. Oh, and mustard greens and leeks. Oh, yes. If you ever want to eat well, come to my house. Uh, yeah, just ask for the number. Um, <laughs> we're cooking good stuff all the time. And since it's Hanukkah season, I'm cooking lots of Jewish food, so. (laughs) And Passover, Anna's teaching me how to make matzo ball soup. Um, This is the letter to him. And then I have poetry afterwards if y'all want poetry, so. Um, It goes, dear chosen child, I may have first chosen to be involved with your dad, but I knew you were part of it. I knew that you came a part of his soul. I knew that it's, I know that's going to be scary for all three of us now that your dad and I know you're autistic. I want you to remember that you're neat, unique, that not many people will get this, that no, I know being different is hard, that I will try to find the answers to what you need, that I am here to pick up the slack where your other parents fall short, that if someone is unkind to you in front of me, that I will take care of it, that I will try to love you in the best way I can. I won't always be patient. I won't always show my love in the way that you need it. I won't always know how to help help you, that the answers aren't always clear, but I can promise I will try to make sure that you know being different isn't a bad thing, that you know that people care, that you're wanted. I love you, Connor, with all your quirks and all the trials I know we are going to face. Um, And I've got to thank the poly community because they have been so supportive and so loving towards us during this time. Um... I take him over to people's houses and they educate him about the uh, various carnivorous plants they have at their home. Everyone knows who I'm talking about. The wonderful bears that we know and love. Um, (laughs) But thank you for loving us. Thank you for giving us a support system that I don't think that I have ever experienced in my entire life. Um, And if you want poetry, just tell me... (laughs) <laughs> okay. Um, some of these are from my childhood. Most of these actually are. I'm not reading some of them because, uh, well, this is going on YouTube. My family? No. No, we all know this. The poly thing scares them enough. We all know this. Um, sitting under the wedding water, feeling it rush down upon me, hoping to rinse the the sins away of the past, trying to live in the moment, not to be too needy, afraid I might push him away, that I'll lean too far back and fall again. Um, that's one. Do, do you want any more? Yeah. Okay. It's all up to you folks. What? What, Connor? I heard you. I heard you talking. Okay. <laughs> You're You're a pervert. Um, <laughs> and yeah oh yeah I'm hearing all my friends talk in the background I'm like okay who who talked that what's their voice um, life this is titled life and this is actually from my senior year in high school oh what a wonderful year such wasted moments such wasted years such wasted lives such bitter tears so many words fallen on deaf ears so much talent never realized potential never reached So many dreams forgotten amidst the chaos, the case of living, of breathing, of loving, of learning, and of hurting. All is when childhood ends. And I think that's all I want to read, but um, thank you for actually listening to me. I love you guys.